Welcome back once again to our Kellogg's 1v1 final. So far, we've seen two matchups, and Stellar was the victor of the last one. We had Gold Star winning the first as well. They stay in the winner's side of the bracket, but we have two matchups left in this first round to witness. And I'd like to introduce our first player is Frosty. Nice little kill stream, and you'll get right back in the running here. Made up into pink. That was so perfectly placed. You gotta love this. This is the uh, the Thor's skill in matchmaking that he can translate right over into F. He's built himself a very comfortable, stable lead as of the halfway mark. Pulling away. There's no. There's less worry of you know the nerves that come into being kind of at a deficit here. He can pull his way out. Timing that he has here. Shots into Swish as well, and does he ice up? Oh, neither of them taking just yet, but Frosty with the re challenge. Of course, right? Of course, he hits the headshot. No way he's going to get this as well. Now, Frosty comfortably in the lead by five kills with a minute left in the game. This is a clear advancement for Frosty as he's separated himself from the back here on Truth during this free for all. Great shots on the player bubble. It's Frosty <laughs> impacting other people's futures at this point. No worries for Frosty whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, Frosty's all cool and he's chill and whatnot. We know about Frosty, but let's talk about KCP's very own Manny. For the opportunity that the third and fourth players had in the first game, right? So, Moosh having gotten second, probably already going to qualify and ready his head. It's about shutting players like Manny down, which doesn't look like Manny has any intention of letting oh. that happen. Manny top middle down six kills, but I don't think he's too concerned with where he is right now, right? He wants to continue warming up, but he's already gonna advance. Having gotten second, nice kill on the gold star there, shut him down. He can still get first, but to me, I don't think it really matters to him if he gets first in this round or not, right? He's just playing to try and get into a rhythm, get into a flow, and continue to advance to these things. And next time he's in the finals, he wins. Here, while he's gonna try to chip in, Manny getting his kills, he's secured for second place as he chips into a couple other targets here. He's got one directly below Chaos Knight. Go back. He's stepping up as of right now, and Manny shortly behind him with 22. Can he find 23? Oh. Yes, a huge kill. Still with the one kill, he's looking to push this player in the attic. He's no shield, no problem for Manny. Making an oh. easy double on to Renegade. Puts Renegade back into the death cam. That's eight seconds of Renegade not being able to get a kill. And Manny has just opened the door to take this first game. He did it. Manny did it for sure. There's no way anybody can touch him. Ten seconds left. He passed the 40. Frosty versus Manny. Now, this is a matchup I want to see, Tony. We've got Frosty, the, I'd say, like, undisputed king of force. Turns out he was the king of FFA in our esports arena tournaments, being the first one to win. Pretty damn dominant fashion as well. But is he the king of 1v1s? This is a different ballpark. What do you think, Tony? Frosty Manny. Hey, we all know, hey, we all know Frosty's the MVP, one of the best players to ever do it. I would never deny the man shot the man's movement, his aggression, and what he's done for the game. I, I, I'm glad to have you back, Frosty. But in this 1v1, I I promise you, my boy Manny, the ultimate wild card. This is the ultimate underdog right here. He, I, I, uh -huh. When he's playing peak Manny, he's one of the best players in our league. Man, Manny has a lot of ups and downs, and you know his downs can be quite low, but his ups are absolutely incredible, and I think he's ready. I got my boy Manny beating the MVP Frosty here in round one. All right, Tony, I respect that. Manny, like you said, he's got high highs. When he pops off, he is incredibly nasty, and hopefully he's on a high today. I'm going to side with Frosty. Right now we're 1-1 in our predictions, and I'll take the safe pick with Frosty once again. But once again, Frosty hasn't been practicing 1v1s as much as I think Manny might have. I haven't been following Manny on his practice. Maybe you have, Tony. But uh, this should be interesting to see regardless. Now, you had an update, by the way, on how they select the maps. It's not just a set format. How do they do it? So there's there's actually no actual map rotation going on. So the way it works is each player has the option to do to do bans for your for their first map for their first map. So top seed gets to ban the first and third map. Bottom seed bans the second and fourth map. And the final map is round one. 
Then the loser chooses the map moving forward, but they cannot return to a map they've already won. So say for so okay. for example, player one bans Plaza, player two bans Clausy, player one bans Truth, player two bans Regret. Crossfire is game number one. The loser then picks between any one of those, including Crossfire again if he really wants to, and then if it goes to game three, player one gets to pick the final out, but they can't pick Crossfire because they won game right. one. Right, right. That sounds fair. Makes sense to me. Like we said, best of three. Let's see if it goes the distance. We haven't had a series go down to game three just yet. We did get a replay on Truth, which was exciting. But this one could be a bit of a different story. I find that Plaza tends to be the most popular of 1v1 maps, so I wouldn't be surprised if we kick things off with Plaza once again. But uh, Tony, what, what map in the pool have we not seen yet, but you are most excited to see? That we have, I'm not excited to see. We haven't seen. I, you know what? I, not, I'm, I am. I'm, 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 I'm excited to see. I mean, the only map we haven't seen is Kali. I'm not excited to see it. I apologize. There's but regret. my favorite one's map. Regret. My favorite one's map is definitely going to be is definitely Crossfire. If I had to pick between Kali and Regret, I say Regret. I, 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 I definitely like Regret over Kali. You're a fan of the close quarters, is what you're saying, right? Because ca- ca- Crossfire Absolutely. for sure. Close quarters. I, I like Crossfire. I think that's it's a really uh, fair. Uh, cl- like quick 1v1 map. You don't get any of the uh, the slowdown. You can't hide. You can't run, right? It's just straight up right in your face. But I do want to see some Kali. I want to see some Snipe Place and uh, and some strats on Kali. I'm sure that'll be exciting. Uh, regret, though, remains to be seen, right? We've got, uh, we've got OS on that one. But we're going back to Crossfire. I like it. This is straight down to accuracy. And I got to say, you're going up against Frosty in a battle of accuracy, Tony. Ain't going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but you know what? It's all about that firepower, and uh, I. Uh, oh, oh my gosh! Um, okay. the oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, li- I'm like what I'm seeing right there. Just really mad at that corner. I, that's a, that's an ugly corner. I, I agree. Uh, Frosty, I don't like that corner. Either. Frosty, what one v ones is going to be interesting. I know this is not his favorite game type in in the you know the the different options he's got for for a display of skill in Halo. Uh, 1v1 is not one that he frequents, but we know how talented, how skillful Frosty is. He's going to find a way, uh, even begrudgedly, to uh, to pop through and, and make plays here, I guarantee you. But Manny's got him on the back foot here. Manny keeping him one shot, going for the reach out, but Frosty Ooh. jumps back up. They get a trade to start. That's what I like to see. Bold players going down, so it's almost like it's zero zero at this point. We're gonna stay on board. We stay on board here with man. No, we're gonna switch over to Frosty. The MVP goes up towards Tower Two. Maybe get a little bit of uh, a scouting done. He's trying to find out exactly where Manny is. And once Frosty has that little bit of information, that's when you'll see him pounce. Oh, pounce he will. He's lost his nades though. Gets back two plasmas instead. Gets the four shots in and clean up. Easy peasy for Frosty. He had a shield advantage as well. He's gonna press it. And now taking his time with the new spawn here, gonna pop up. Uh, whoa, oh. interesting spawn prediction. Frosty, what? he knows something that, that some of us might not there. He was aware of that spawn behind them. I, I did not know you can, force, you can force the spawns by sitting bottom tower, I guess crouching over towards house. I guess the game thinks you're gonna fly house and go the opposite way. He turns around, goes right into it. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, He's I trying to do it again. He's trying yeah. to force the spawns again. Well, no, now he's just, or- now he's just BMing. <laughs> but there is a, it's interesting. I, I don't fully understand it, but there is a way in Crossfire to be standing kind of close to mid, but have the player spawn behind you. And it, even in a, like, if you're aware of that spawn behind you, you turn around, you catch them, then that's even worse than force spawning them across the map for that player, right? Because they're either closer to you, they have less options. So, I mean, if Frosty is, is capable of, of, creating that over and over i mean good for him but right now manny he's putting pressure back on here manny could take this potentially reload in frosty repositioning both players gonna get their shields back and oh can he he can't hit the headshot though he's got to clean these up any opportunity he has he needs to capitalize i love the patience from manny but he needs to pounce and another trade oh. goes down every trade at this point gonna go in favor of frosty currently up four to three look like they're jousting Right, a little classic, uh, little classic uh, exchanges here. Both players going down at the same time. Like you said, Frosty with the slight advantage of this keeps up. 
and he'll maintain it, but three shots into Manny. That's an opportunity for Frosty to start to speed up here. Pressure's on. Manny caught bottom mid. Nate in, but Manny hits him with a nade of his own. That was clean. I don't know how he got it to stop there on top mid, but those are the plays you need to shut down Frosty. Great nade, and because of that, we are tied up at four piece. He also has two plasmas in his back pocket as well. Frosty trying to back Manny down, catch a catch a different angle. Now, now it's a little bit of a reset. Now Manny's not taking advantage of the of the spawn. Now the both players on even playing grounds. Manny does get three shots in though, so you can see he's getting aggressive and he wins the fight. Frosty on the back foot. First time in this series here. Five to four out of Manny. He's gonna force spawn opposite side, likely. Yep, good spawn out of him. You see how even though Manny was standing up on top mid. He still got what he wanted, but you still got to win the fight. And that's the hard part when you're playing against the likes of Frosty, who ends up picking up the shoddy over towards the right side of Wait. the map here. Now we're going to find out if he's going to put that shoddy to the body. Uh, not going to lie, Tony, I forgot there was a shotgun at all in, in this. And that could be devastating if used effectively, though, shots Frosty does die immediately there to a nade so good work out of manny doesn't need the shotgun of course in a map like this there's just enough distance to ensure that it's very very difficult to uh, to push up to get that kill you need though manny now one shot here frosty nades in frosty with a second nade as well manny i love the tricky plays out of him to stay up but he's one bullet and look at this high ground it's gonna be very hard to take this fight but it's somehow manny with the reversal kill this is getting a little scary here manny's heating up tony and I'm loving what I'm seeing. And then obviously a lot of these players actually enjoy Crossfire 1v1s because they're the ones who pick it. They get to pick and ban maps. Frosty obviously picked this for a reason. Beautiful headshot on Manny. Yeah, Frosty gonna answer back. That's That's gotta be a wake up call. If you whiff a melee and you get reversal killed on for somebody like Frosty, like you expect this man to come back with a vengeance. Gonna hold it down on BR here. Manny starting to move up. Frosty with the info. Two shots in. Bounce nade. I love that aggression, right? You see where that nade blew up? So perfect. And he got a red bar, right? We might see a couple of these red bar exchanges. This is uh, uh, a little mechanic in the game. If you've got extra damage on your opponent, if you're two shots up on your opponent and you melee tra trade, uh, even though you should have died in the exchange, because you had the shot advantage, you can end up with a red bar and still live. You gotta, gotta love red bars. Uh, I said nobody ever. Frosty getting the kill on Manny right there. <laughs> Eight to seven lead in favor of Frosty. The MVP. And, and, we, and, they, and Esports Reader said it. We're, they're looking for the best player in Halo. And, and they were hoping that maybe th this tournament might be able to shed some light on the situation. Manny <laughs> hitting the MVP with a hot five. Can Manny become the number one player in Halo? Wow, Tony, uh, big statement, big, big statement. And I'm, I'm sure some people might disagree with that one, but uh, but for the sake of uh, for the sake of, of entertainment value, let's say that the best player is going to come out here today in this online tournament. Either way, uh, it's going to be exciting. It's close is what I got to say. What a nail biter for game one here. Eight, eight as Manny's coming back in, but he didn't get first shot. Frosty definitely did. Manny tries Whoa. to stick. Great attempt out of him. Almost stuck himself there, but of course he's down for the count. Frosty flies out to get height advantage. A little bit of a crazy play. Manny throws an excellent nade. I was uh, kind of following it, and I, I feel like I was wild. I don't know how that wasn't a stick, but Frosty comes out to win on that one. We have a 9-8 to eight lead in favor of Frosty. Heavy damage being put down on Manny, forced to back down and regain his shields. Frosty starting to creep walk out, and Manny, you can see he's checking that right side, but Frosty repositioned. Look at this, he doesn't see him. Frosty taking full advantage here, and it ends up being a trade, which I'd say is the best case scenario for Manny, who got caught with his pants down. That it is, but every trade right now is going in favor of Frosty, who currently has a one kill lead right back in the action. Manny putting down the damage, throws an excellent nade. He's gonna come out with the win, and we are tied up at 10 apiece. And now Manny trying to force the spawn over towards blue side. There it is, over towards left. Manny's not aware of it. Now that the shot has come in, he has an idea of where Brad is. Yeah, tie game once again. Still plenty of time to work with here. Frosty peeking, trying to get those opening shots. Manny shutting him down. The beautiful shots in. He cleans him up with the quick scope from hell. That was a beautiful kill. Had a Manny right there to seal that out. 
11 to 10 lead in favor of Manny at the moment. Good spawn awareness, puts the shots down, but not gonna pounce on that, playing a little bit more patient, gonna come over towards the tower. He's able to scout things out and have height advantage, so I'm not mad at that play. I mean, the, the beauty of these 1v1s in Crossfire is just your ability to snapshot cross map on the head and, and just get that, that quick kill. We saw it in a Manny a second ago. And if he can keep doing that, then he can really pull away here. But so far, both players one shot. Frosty with a nerdy nade, but Manny with the rotation to stay up high and shut him down once again. Two kill advantage for him. And it's starting to look rough here. Three kills to close it. Frosty, he spawned out back map. No cover. Frosty trying to challenge with all the confidence in the world here, but Manny... Didn't even, I'd say Manny didn't even need to thrust there. He lost his positioning because of it. Good job coming in from Frosty right here. Manny bouncing back, putting the shots in as well. Oh, and he wow. gets the three shot melee. But Frosty drops the Mar the Marty Dome, hits the, the nade kill. They would neutralize the situation. Both bodies are put down. 13 11 lead in favor of KCP's Manny. That nade, honestly, a saving grace for Frosty right there, who would have been down three if it didn't connect. Throw another one across the map here, though, Manny. Nice dodge on the nade. Frosty still keeping the pressure up. Gonna jump up. He does wait to clamber there, but eventually he will take the high ground. Manny, look at him swerving around below, trying to be difficult. Frosty can't get the kill on Manny here. Manny is reversal killing Frosty back to back, and now Frosty's out of chances. 1v1s only go to 15, so Manny needs one more kill to take game number one. He's looking, he sees Frosty the sights, the shots go down. Don't get too overzealous. Frosty still has one of the best shots in the game. No, but he might die here. Manny wants to, oh, come on, Frosty. Gonna lose that one. Gonna teabag the ground and he'll enter the grave with the back smack at him. Manny to shut that down. That's a four kill advantage of 15 to 11 for game one. I mean, I, I, I know he was in a bad spot there. He was down. He was at a deficit, but he definitely could have bounced back, made it happen. And I hope he does bounce back in game two and really shut him down. I, I understand 1v1 is a different ballpark. It might not be as satisfying to some, you know, as the 4v4 playlist, but I still want to see the best out of Frosty because we know that uh, he's capable of turning this around, of, of winning this whole thing if he wants it badly enough. Well, the good thing about how this works, Alex, is now that Manny has won game number one, Frosty gets to pick a game number two's map. So, I mean, I would expect him to pick his best map possible. So whatever yeah. goes down here right now, Frosty kind of has the advantage because he picks the map that he wants. Going into game three, if needed, Manny would I, assumingly lose game two. Manny gets to pick the map that he wants, but he cannot pick Crossfire because he won a game sure. one. Sure. So the comfort side goes over to Frosty. I guess he can choose the map, but at the same time, Manny, assuming he's well-practiced for this tournament, there should be no counter-picking on the guy, right? He should have a pretty good comfort on any of these maps in the rotation. We'll see how things go as we jump into our next map here, see where Frosty's most comfortable. I'd like to see this man uh, start to unlock the skills that we know. Like, it, Frosty, give us a show. We know you can put it on here. I know that, that you know, it's 1v1s, but but I want to see the best set of Frosty either. And if you don't do it, honestly, then Manny's going to gonna take advantage, right? Manny is fully going to take this and move on at this rate if he keeps it up. I don't have any hidden intel on this, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Frosty picks a map with a sniper rifle on it. We know that Frosty's absolutely plaza. disgusting with a sniper in hands. Maybe he might pick a plaza because if he grabs that sniper and grabs the overshield, just good fundamental Halo can put him back on top. Man, Manny's great, but he... Again, up and down. He's kind of a wild card. If Frosty just, uh, you know, utilizes good fundamentals on a map like Plaza, I wouldn't be surprised if we go to game three. I think Plaza is the play. You've got, right, you got the snipe, you got the OS, light rifle. There's so much you can work with. It's a map that that is uh, privy to so many outplays as well. You got so much uh, to jump around on to uh, to escape with. So we'll see. And of course, if he can take that opening sniper, then he can go off. He can go on a tear. He can really showcase uh, or, or pull a, pull a lead. Uh, in this series so we'll see where he jumps to tony uh plaza i'd say would be most likely uh but what, what would you hope to see next yeah i mean i I, I, I mean if i'm on the side of frosty i'm gonna say plaza um if i'm on the side of manny i, I want a bit of a wild card so i'm maybe, maybe i'm gonna go coliseum coliseum might not be the most played in one so I, I want a bit of a wild card either way it looks like frosty has chosen plaza rightfully so might as well start on board with it i want to switch over to frosty at some point in time because i want to see why he chose this map 
Plaza is the play, and the opening strat already coming in. Frosty tries to get the OS, but Manny with the momentum he's picked up in game one, he is not stopping. That's a hot five to start. That's his snipe in his hands. And now we can start to make plays here. This might be rough for Frosty. Frosty already getting up to top yellow, but very dangerous place to be when Manny's got snipe. He's looking for him. He doesn't connect with two shots. And if he can make him continue to whiff here or drop this sniper, then he's okay. But Frosty, I mean, getting caught, mating nest here. Manny gonna rotate out to light rifle in the meantime. And Manny does have the sniper rifle in hand and a, and a one kill lead. Five sniper bullets. This this could be bad for Frosty. I mean, I, Frosty obviously one of the best snipers in the game, but Manny's pretty darn good as well. Yeah, pretty, pretty darn good might be an understatement, Tony. Manny's been really showcasing some skills here. And Frosty right now got to really wake up and put the answer back on him. You can see he's now down to one shot. Manny, if he tags him up one more time, Frosty's dead. But Frosty re-challenges that. Wow. Well, one bullet, very risky. And Manny, of course, going to take advantage. Yep. And there you see him hiding behind that wall so that it doesn't... Uh, no, there we go. He spawns bottom nest. Frosty trying to get out of that position as fast as possible. Making his way towards top mid. Manny hits the body shot with that sniper. One more bullet left. Can he plant it? He made very well. Oh, he does miss it, though. This is a good opening for Frosty here. He's going to dive in. He's just got to clean it yeah. up. And look at him just standing <laughs> still there. He's going to twirl the reticle a little bit. Make sure you got no heavy aim on the server, right? He's got to... <laughs> Got to get the aim going here, Frosty. Uh, interesting spawn strats. Uh, you know, it'll definitely, it'll spawn him somewhere on the opposite side of the map, but I'm pretty sure he's looking down for a little too long here, Tony. Uh, <laughs> before he pulls off the ogre twitch, spawned. before he pulled off the ogre twitch right there, he actually he shook still. his head no right there. So he so he walked over Manny's body, shook his head no, hit him with the ogre twitch, then kind of kneecapped on the neck. This is the ultimate disrespect. Overshield's going to be coming up very soon. Manny is ready for it and gets the pickup. And now he's going to be flying towards Frosty, gets the kill. Luckily, Frosty dropped the plasma to neutralize it. But still, 3-1 to one lead in favor of Manny. Yeah, no OS, thankfully, but look at this. And he can shoot the barrel as well. Oh, that is a, a hopeless situation to be in if you spawn in that hotel and Manny's ready for it like he was. Frosty just dying instantly off a of spawn. He spawned up once again, bottom nest, and he's not even moving. Just going to play it slow here. Does get tagged up a little bit. Manny, now with the info, he can push up, keep the high ground here, keep Frosty back in lift, which is where he wants him. But I think Frosty might have already jumped up S4. He did. Manny now left it. So a bit of change uh, in scenery here. Frosty going to jump out, take advantage as a result. <laughs> and shaking his head again. You saw the overlay, grabs the sniper, and his buddy's a body disrespect then. My gosh. Manny has his service tag as cell. I guess Frosty's saying, hey, I'm uh, Gohan. I'm about to hit you with a super command meha. Yeah, and meanwhile, I'm blind. I don't know what that was. He's uh he's in the bot is he the bottom of lift? Just okay. Staring at the wall. <laughs> Staring at the wall. All right, Frosty, we see you. I mean, the thing is, a competitor like Manny, he's going to take advantage of any opportunity Frosty gives him here. If he if he wants to, you know, not take it seriously, then... Okay, all right, fine. Thank you. Hit the headshot. Wake up. Show us what you can do. Put Manny down like we know you can, or Manny will take full advantage. He'll take this. He'll move on. He'll get that 10K. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, Frosty's not respecting the the, uh, the the game right now, and maybe not respecting his opponent as much. And uh, I, I I don't know. I'm I'm surprised to see this, but Manny, he he currently has a one, a one game lead. All he has to do is take advantage there of this go. and beat Frosty at his own game, and maybe he can he could knock Frosty into elimination bracket. But easier said than done. Well, he did tie it up. He does have five shots in sight, and if he starts connecting, things can look real bad for Manny. Oh, oh my God. I was about to say OS is popping soon, but Frosty was busy landing no scopes. The OS is up now. He's going to pick it up for free. We got a likely cafe spawn here. You know what? That ends up being yard. Frosty, look at the awareness out of him knowing that that spawn was split there. And now Manny trying to sneakily get his way through cafe here. Frosty taking his time, lining up a shot here. Manny, does he dare to challenge? You know, honestly, I mean, when it comes to competitive integrity, it may not be the best that we've seen. I'm, and I, I'm not the happiest, but... As far as entertainment-wise, I, I mean, I, you can't deny that this is pretty entertaining. Frosty with the overshoot has half been dodged that plaza pistol. Manny does have, Manny can neutralize with that plaza, and he hits the second one. Frosty goes one shot, two shots left in the sniper rifle, so Frosty still has a bit of advantage as far as resources, but good job by Manny.
I mean, Tony, here's my thing. If Frosty still wins despite it, then that's the entertainment value I'm looking for. But if Frosty is looking at walls and he's losing because he's not, you know, fully focused or whatever, then that's not what I want to see. So, I mean, sure, he can, he can, you know, BM a little bit, but then turn around and hit a snapshot and make massive plays and win. Then I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the content as long as he wins it. Let's see. He's going to hit the body. He's going to jump forward here, but Manny... <laughs> He stuck him somehow. I don't even know how that connected, but he pulled it off. He's got one shot in snipe because of it. Great dig grenades dig by Manny right there. He has a snipe rifle, one shot left in it. Also has an light rifle in his back pocket. Let's see if we can take advantage of the situation here. Misses the sniper, but I still say that LR in the right hands is a power weapon. What you gonna do with him, Manny? Oh, it absolutely is a power weapon. Going to get the two scope shots in. That's Frosty. No shields already, so he's going to have to reposition here. New snipe up. Manny's got two frags. He's got LR. Frosty going to go straight for that sniper, though. Manny tags him up two times. Nade in. Frosty can rotate out, though. He, he's actually thinking about lifting. And Manny's going to hear that lift when he goes for it. New OS going to pop, though, as well. And it's a bit late, so Frosty coming in. If he hits it, and he wow. does, then Manny down for the count. That's another OS going to go over to Frosty. And come on, man! I got, I, I got my, I got my money on you. Ten thousand dollars for first place is life-changing money for most people. Maybe, maybe not for Frosty. You no, know, Frosty, he, he, he got the money. But That's man, fine. if Manny pulls off uh, this first place win, that is incredible. It is life-changing. I want this for Manny, uh, and Frosty wants to get rid of that wall. And, 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 and again, terrible wall. I'm not happy with that wall either, Frosty. You keep shooting it. I mean, we got a long way to go to find out whether whether or not Manny can, you know, get to the end zone here. He's still got to take out Frosty, who is, uh, I mean, Frosty's making quick work of Manny right now. Even if he, even if he at times looks like he's uh, having fun, he's BMing, when, when he needs to hit the shots, it counts, right? Like, he's still pulling it off. And he's going to get that nice hit marker in, back down, reposition, still one more snipe shot. Watch him connect. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Nice and easy peasy, Tony. That's a uh, four kill advantage, and now he's got the LR. Greg Popovich once said, you know, one of the hardest things to do is play against a team who have nothing to lose. When they have no expectation, when they have no care, Frosty's clearly showing that, hey, he's willing to troll half the game. So if Frosty, well, that's not really caring if he wins or lose, this is Ooh. what he's most deadly. But Manny comes in with the fisty cuffs, looking like Floyd Mayweather puts him down, but is currently down by three kills. Yeah, man, he's not down for the count yet. It's a three-kill deficit, but he's still got four minutes to work with. He's got high ground as well. Frosty, bottom lift. Going to slowly peek his way out, try to get some shots in here. Manny shot advantage, so he's pressing it. Frosty, very weak here. I like the denial nade to keep Manny back in. His shields almost sticks him, though. Back and forth we go on this garbage truck here as he tries to live, but Frosty going to turn this into high ground here. Rotate out the top mid. Manny in a rough spot now. Look at this. Frosty could take full advantage. Manny, probably one of the worst spots to be in a 1v1, is hiding behind garbage truck when Frosty's on top mid. So I like the rotation to get out to stay away, but he still gets the wow. reversal. Are you kidding? Manny, what a way to ice up in that fight. Plays are being made, and Manny gonna get over shield largely because of it. I'm liking it. He's, he's only down by two kills. He can make something happen. Frosty gets right in his sights. He knows exactly where he is. He has to dodge the plasma pistol, put him down, oh, and no. he does. Still has about 50% of that over shield left. Let's go, Cell. Yeah, thankfully for Manny, he didn't get tagged up by the plasma pistol. He managed to take out Frosty, pick it up as well. So he's got that in the back pocket. Frosty now stuck bottom lift. New snipe about to come up here, Manny. Does he walk beside that barrel, though? He's going to take the opposite side of S4. Frosty's still just sitting in bottom lift. Look at this. Does he know he's there? Frosty spring jumped up to the sign, hiding in the bottom of the lift. And Manny can't see him from this angle, so he's not sure. He doesn't see him in the wall. Wait! No, he does! Frosty, three shots. He doesn't get the three-shot beat down. They're both stuck out. No shields. Man, he's going to try to get out of here. Frosty praying on him from above. Gets him down to one shot. And he does clean him up. He actually makes that play work. Only in 1v1s do you see sneaky spots like that actually work. And Frosty going to get away with that sniper rifle. Has five shots in it. Throws an excellent spawn prediction nade. But actually, man, he's already made it towards top mid. Going over towards blue window. And Frosty backing down. So starting to take... Now that this, the time is not on his side. And we're not two minutes into the game. Starting to take things more serious. Gets the kill. And now he might work these spawns. Or stare at this <laughs> corner. 
This is some pure entertainment value uh, spawn <laughs> knowledge right here out of Frosty. He, he he knows something we don't. If you look in the ceiling at that angle, you spawn Manny and right where you want him on LR, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> he's still got the snipe, though, and he's still got the advantage here. So Frosty, as long as he's ready for Manny's challenge, which Manny, I think you just got to see it. He definitely did. Wow. Back to the yep. spawn screen he goes. Tony, time is an issue here. He doesn't have much of it. No, he does not. I don't want to say he's out of it just yet, but it's getting close. Overshield should be coming up uh, fairly soon here. Manny's aware they're going to make his way towards top mid, and Frosty puts him down. We might just be going to a game three. Man, I haven't seen this much teabagging out of Frosty since, uh, what, like 2017 Worlds or something? <laughs> like, when he's shooting the Envy logo. Look at this, man. What is he doing? Full, full 360. He knows he's won it. I think there's not, there's literally nothing that Manny could do at this point. So Frosty just waiting out the final minute, holding on to OS and uh, taking full advantage of his Series X yeah. uh, acceleration it. aim right there. Yeah, he's just spinning. And who can, who can hit right better behind jump? them. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's even right behind Frosty. He sees it. He knows that the game is over here. We're going to be going to a game number three. And now this time, as we, we kind of stated before, Manny will have the option to choose what he wants to play for map three. Uh, now, he cannot pick Crossfire. He can pick wow. any map but Crossfire. And Frosty... <laughs> Let's commit suicide right there. So he had 13 kills, now 12. Hey, you know, four more of those and we're tied up. We're going to overtime. That is a bit of a mind game, I gotta say. Like, Frosty making it look like he's not trying, and he very well might not be. I mean, I don't know what's going on in Frosty's head here, but, but I mean, this is one hell of a way to get in the head of somebody like Manny, is to, uh, to, to BM and kill yourself, because you have such an advantage. Manny just chasing him around, though. We're playing tag. This is, uh, your, your classic Halo fans, uh, dream here, to to tell him why Sprint is, you know, why Sprint should be in Halo. Look at these guys sprinting around. And Manny does get that, that uh, he gets that assassination in the end, but not enough. Well, we now, now, I mean, now it's all about, and I, I wonder, I wonder where it's actually coming from. I, I wonder, like, maybe Frosty isn't, uh, I don't know how much ones he's played. Maybe he doesn't know how to manipulate the spawns as some of these other ones kids do. Or maybe it is a little bit disrespect to him trying to get into the head of his opponent. I, le I legitimately have no clue what it is. I would love to maybe interview Frosty at some point and find <laughs> out where this is coming from. Uh, or, again, maybe he doesn't like the walls on Plaza. They're, they're not the best walls. They're really not. Well, I guarantee you, first off, Frosty knows exactly how to manipulate spawns. He knows exactly, uh, like, where these players are going to spawn, depending on where he's standing on the map. But he doesn't. it doesn't seem like he cares about it at the moment, and I don't think he will care until he has to care. Uh, just the, the thing was, the beginning of the game, it was a little questionable, right? Because the beginning of the game, he had snipe, he was sitting in the bottom of the lift, and he was just looking at the wall, and he was losing. <laughs> I think it was like 2-1. And he's just looking at the wall with the snipe. So we're questioning. We're like, Frosty, what are you doing? Thankfully, even with that attitude, he bounces back. He wins it. He's looking great now. So I'll take the entertainment value as long as he's getting the kills, as long as he's showing it on the scoreboard here. And now it's up to Manny to, despite all of this, Manny needs to bounce back. Manny needs to, to not let it get to him, right? It's a mental battle in the end. Yeah, I'm wondering. You know what? Now that I even think about it, like, you know, before this matchup came, all eyes were on Frosty. Like, we're like, hey, Fro Frosty has to win this and whatnot. Like, now, now Frosty's kind of almost used reverse psychology because now it's now all eyes on Manny. It's like, hey, Manny, you know, Frosty's like messing around. He's not he's not even hitting you with this with the spawn traps and whatnot. You got to take advantage of this. It's almost like he put the pressure off himself and put it on Manny. Right. I, I mean, Manny also knows the position that he's in, though, right? Like, uh, I, Frosty... He's the MVP. We've said it multiple times. Frosty has earned his position at the top of the heap here. Manny is a man on the come up, come up right? So he, I guarantee he's not coming into this matchup with the expectation that he's, you know, a better, so to speak. He probably believes in his ability to win it. And, and he knows that, that despite all odds, he's going to, you know, he's going to put his full uh, attitude, his energy into this. So I, I doubt that he's going to come in here and, uh, and, and think too much about this stuff. Instead, he's just, he's focused on the win. He's focused on what he, what he can do to take the best out of, you know, every advantage that he's given. Uh, and we'll see what he does with game three, because now, like you said, he's got the chance to pick the map, to change things up here. We yeah. could get regret for the first time. We could get truth, uh, or we could get Kali, I guess. Those are the three options that Manny has. Or, or Plaza, like said, if he wants Plaza again. Yeah. And, and, like, and like I said before, I'm really rooting for these young, really young guys. Like when, when I, I'm looking at Manny. I'm looking at Gold Star. Uh, I'm looking at these young guys. I want them to make a name for themselves. And also, 
Again, $10,000 for first place. Again, for most people, life-changing money. I, I know Frosty, Frosty yo, he already has the money. It's the, this, this ain't about the money. If anything, it's maybe for bragging rights for Frosty. He has the money. He don't need, need $10,000. But for most of these competitors, especially some of these underdogs, man, it's life changes. That's why I'm rooting so hard for Manny, Gold Star, and some of these guys. Like, make a name for yourself. And then on yeah. top of that, really do, hey, hey, do something nice for mom with that money. Hey, but, you know, maybe you want to put most of it away, but do something nice for mom. <laughs> I mean, we just had Mother's Day, so a little late Mother's Day present or something. If you can, you know, manage to take that 10k, uh, definitely. Yeah, it's it's the, the money's one thing, but like you said, it's an opportunity for these players to prove themselves. And credits to Gold Star BR who already took a series off of Saiyan. He's still in winner's side. We had another matchup, of course, uh, Stellar Envor. Stellar took that one, so Stellar waiting in winners. Uh, Envor Saiyan currently in losers' side, and then Frosty Manny remains to be seen. We're one one in this series. Uh, whoever takes it, of course, is going to stay in winners, going to knock the other to losers. And it is regret. So, of course, regret. We got OS bottom mid. We got combo. There is a caster on the map, but we're not using the caster here, Tony. It's just going to sit there. Nobody's picking it up. And they're going to fight over Overshield. Then Manny winning that initial gunfight with the beautiful five and gets Overshield because of it. Beautiful play by Manny. Manny just going to hold down top mid here. Frosty for spawned into red. And Frosty just going to peek out, do anything he can to delete a little bit of that OS, make the fight a little easier for him. The longer he waits, really, the, the less time Manny has to hold on to OS here. But Manny, of course, not wanting to give up top mid. Three shots into Frosty. That's enough for him to try to push up here into the fight. Frosty now one shot. Frosty, how does he back out? How does he get out of this? Manny looking for him. He goes under base to live just a little longer here. Extend the fight. And who can get the peak shots advantage? Frosty with one shot. He's pushing up, getting aggressive for it. Repositions out window, and he hightails it out to opposite side map. So this one we might see go the distance here. If these players really take their time and mix things up. Right now, Manny, you can see he's aware of all those options. But despite it, Frosty, the battle of attrition there. He perseveres, and he makes it work. Okay, and a little less trolling on this side. You know, obviously Frosty, one of one of the biggest trolls in the game. I'm, and and this maybe it's game three. He's oh, ready to oh no. jump all the way up to top mid. But man, he's well aware of it. Puts the heavy damage down. We are tied up at one apiece here. Frosty does have height advantage. I believe Manny's over towards bottom peak. Frosty going for that. That uh, I'd like to say Shotzi jump. Uh, pretty much everyone is aware of it nowadays. But he doesn't hit it. If you don't hit that jump, you end up uh, stuck with no thrust up in the air. Not ideal. And right now, Manny does manage to sneak up, get the shots onto Frosty. And he's looking for spawns here. That timing a little unfortunate. Something I guarantee Manny's doing is bringing up that scoreboard after he kills Frosty so he can see when that red X disappears, then jump for the challenge. If he mistimes it slightly, Frosty will spawn in the opposite base. And then he loses that, uh, that advantageous kind of opening. So Frosty going to take advantage instead, though, Manny... I mean, Manny's looking good here at this rate. Oh, he's looking sure. a little, uh, a little. I mean, overshoot, like you said, at this rate, he could really pull away. <laughs> I thought Manny forgot for, <laughs> for a second, but he was looking over to red side, maybe to force the spawns blue, and he got right in the nick of time for overshield. Frosty currently top mid, putting the shots in. Frosty's gonna have to try to put as much damage uh, down as possible, but Manny might end up with the kill. No! Frosty gets out of dodge, drops bottom car, and gets right back <laughs> up to top blue car, showing off all the jumps. That I like, and I know you like that too, Alex. Oh, for sure. Frosty's pulling off the moves to go up and down car, and to the point where Manny's actually, uh, he tripped up there. Like, Manny tried the jump out challenge, and he fell down to bottom car, so he lost his opportunity. They've reset the situation now. Manny decided to rotate out the blue here. You can see he's got two plasmas, two frags, so he could definitely put those into play in the... Uh, or if the opportunity presents itself. But right now, both players just holding off opposite sides of the map here. We got plenty of time. Frosty starting to sneak right beside him on car. Does he see it? He does. And we'll see how they take this fight. Frosty, you can see how carefully he's reclambering up on that, that car ledge. He doesn't want to lose the high ground because then he could jump in. Though I guess Manny just a step ahead, Tony. And this is up to you, man. You pick this map right here. Frosty's done a bit of trolling. He's playing. You know, he's, he's not even playing for time. Playing for, he's just playing ultra aggressive, trying to get in there. You know what Frosty's game plan is. You got to win your pairs, man. All eyes are on you. You got this. Definitely looking like he has it for now. Three kill advantage. OS going to pop in just a little bit once we get past that eight minute mark here. Manny, I, I like that jump, but if you're not aware of the moment you're pulling it off right like frosty just tagging him up on pink side 
as he goes for that tricky jump on the ring. He'll back out here. He's still got the combo, just about full ammo in it as well. So the moment he finds Frosty, he can make this work. But man, did the pace of play ever slow down in game three here, Tony? We had Crossfire, we had the Sniper on Plaza, and now we've just got this. They're just rotating. They're holding down their own perimeter. But Main needs to slow things down. It's about 45 when he knows that overshield's coming up. I like the play come out. He has the exact timing on it. He's on it, but no! a bit early. He was actually a bit early right there. Frosty making him pay, gets the kill. And now Frosty gonna milk this overshield. This is a popular play in ones. If Manny was watching it on dead screen, he's gonna milk it, grab it when he wants. So this way Manny's not able to see the exact timing on it. Very big play in ones. Yeah, Manny put everything onto timing that OS though, right? Like he stood there, he didn't even shoot back. If he had the combo charged, at least there might have been a chance for him to counterattack. But I guess he just realized that you know he was dead regardless. Frosty taking advantage now. Of course, he got the two shot beatdown with the uh, with the combo. Now he's got one kill deficit here, just on the prowl, looking for Manny. Manny up on car, tags him first. Frosty with the high ground though. If he plays it patient, and the clambers are so tricky up on this ring, he can reclamber back down. Continue to jump back for the challenge. It's very, very difficult in Manny's position to win the fight. So I'd understand if Manny ends up backing out if things aren't looking good here. Frosty tagging him up. And once again, back and forth we go as Frosty plays a little Spider-Man here. Jumping back and forth on ring, trying to take a, a tricky place to challenge. If he does hit the barrel, that leaves Manny out one shot, but Manny gonna live. Four to three leads, still in favor of Manny, and luckily for him, Frosty's overshield is has been depleted completely. So now shields are shields are fair. One shot is Frosty. He's gonna be forced to back down, playing this wall excellently. Now popping back up, he gets the first four shots on Manny. He's only half shields. He's gonna drop down. Can he get the kill? Nope. He's gonna stay. He's gonna stay alive. Doesn't want to chase him. Very scary to chase a player in a one v one if you're not 100 percent sure where they went. So they reset it once again here. Frosty does spot him. That's important info, right? I don't think Manny saw him on car, so Frosty, look at that. He can get first shot because of it. He can clean him up if he keeps pressing the advantage, but Manny just a little too far away for that challenge to make sense. He rotates over to red. Frosty aware of it once again. Can spot him out on pink side. Three, four shots. One bullet left, really, for Manny to clean him up here, but Frosty still doesn't want to commit. The OS is going to be the play that, that, uh, that really decides who gets this. And Frosty does have the exact timing down, puts the shots oh, no. in, and man, gonna clutch up, win that gunfight, and gonna be awarded an overshield because of it, and on top of that, has a two-kill lead. Some beautiful patience and confidence out of Manny to wait as Frosty thrusted forward and still snap on, hit the five shot. Just beautiful. In a situation like this where money is on the line, pressure is on, you got viewers watching, Manny just showcasing that, that he's got the ice, he's... He's not crippled by the pressure in any way. And he continue to hold on to OS here. He's still got a sticky to work with as well. The moment he has an opening, he will dive. But Frosty, look at Frosty. I love the peak shots, right? He jiggle peeks out, keeps him down, but Frosty gets tagged up. Man, he's in a chase here. And look at that, the jump stabilized. What a great way to get a nice line of sight into Attic without committing yourself. Great kill by Manny. Three kill lead. Don't get overzealous here. You got to still play good fundamental Halo. Don't give Frosty an inch because I promise he'll take advantage of it. Frosty flying over towards top mid, drops oh, the no. nade, and Manny fives him while dodging that nade that was right under him to stay alive for kill lead. That's a little rough. I mean, not a good look, right? Because Manny, uh, on top of that, he predicted the spawn correctly. So now he's just pressing an advantage. He's pressing momentum here. And the longer he does this, the more Frosty can get impatient. Want to get greedy with the challenge here, like we saw. Frosty actually rotating, though. He might be able to do it here. He gets the opening shot on Manny. Manny now down. Rough spot for him. He's got the combo back pocket. Going to try to make it out play here. But Frosty jumping in with the challenge. And he does clean him up. Great attempt out of Manny. But this is the moment that Frosty can bounce back. Frost is going to make his way back up to top mid. He knows that the spawn came in over towards top red. Didn't see it, but knows that Manny rotated towards red car. He knows exactly what Manny was doing right there. Got right behind him, and because of it, probably going to get this kill. Dodges the nade. Great plays by Frosty, bringing it back within two. And mind you, Overshow coming up very soon without any timing loss. Brad drops down for it. Yeah, but it's a late OS, so Manny actually might have time to challenge this. You can see he's going, he's nading in. Frosty to keep him back. Frosty now one shot. He tags him up and gets the kill. That's massive. Frosty going to wait just a little longer. Make sure he gets full 
use of this OS as Manny spawns up guaranteed in red side. You can see how he forced that spawn by backing up to blue. Tries to get an angle out, but Manny immediate rotation out the car here, but he's on the chase now. He's got three minutes. He's going to check all of his corners, make sure this guy's not hiding. And mind you, I haven't seen any trolling coming out of Frosty on this one. So, you know what? Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, he, he does want to win this. It's game three. This is when he's going to ice up. Oh, oh, just barely misses that jump. That would have been incredible. Manny going to keep that height advantage. Mm -hmm. Frosty has about 50% of that overshield. Does have to jump over towards top. Going to go top mid. And watching blue side now. Yeah, there's a variety of very uh, complex jumps <laughs> in this map that you can pull off to make out plays, and Frosty kind of went for one there, but narrowly missed it. Right now, he's got to find Manny, though. No more real OS to work with in Manny. Nice, easy opening shots here. Frosty left out one shot. Manny going to toss one nade in, hopefully get a tag on him, but Frosty rightfully going to back down. One kill deficit here. Manny holding on to the slight advantage, but two minutes on the clock, so time becoming a factor. We do have an overtime. If we get to it, right now, players are, they're going to do anything they can to ensure they close it at zero. And Manny going right up to car four, utilizing that height advantage to get right on Frosty, puts him down, grabs the ammo, grabs the plaza pistol, and is now waiting for the spawn, makes him pay. But Frosty, great defense, defending his spawn well, forcing Manny to back down, and we're going to reset a little bit here. Overshield is extremely late. So we have a little bit of time, enough for at least one, maybe even two kills. Yeah, it was a textbook spawn strat out of uh, Manny, by the way. You could tell, you can't see it on his overlay, but guaranteed he was sitting there holding the scoreboard, waiting for Frosty to spawn so he can challenge. He does spot Frosty once again. Frosty going to rotate, try to challenge from a new angle. And look at this, he might get first shot on Manny. He does. This is huge. Frosty nade in. Going to try to clean him up, a Manny combo in the back pocket. And now Frosty gets the end game. And Manny, I mean, he's looking to steal it all. He's going to get the OS for this. This is rough, Tony. Frosty might be locked into, in, knocked into losers. Uh, and I don't know if he's got any hope of a comeback. One minute, three kills. It's going to be four in a sec. Manny about to close him out again. Great job by Manny playing this health. And there it is. Top mid, 51 seconds on the clock. A four kill lead. Manny might be advancing forward in your winner's bracket. Tony, uh, his tag is sell. Is that a reference to DBZ? Hey, I mean, I, you know? I said it before. Right, there, uh, Frosty needed to become Gohan and hit that Super Kamehameha. Uh huh. Didn't do it. Is it <laughs> is Super? Is it Super Saiyan two Gohan? Like, what would Frosty need to do to defeat Cell? Right, because he's clearly Cell mode right now. The man's looking nasty. Well, this one is no chances. It's the best of three. He whatever he would have had to do, he would have had to do it before this point. That is well, it. Had, he's yeah. gonna come out be the winner. Right. Right, right. I'm saying in hindsight, Frosty would have had to been at, at least Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I can't remember. I'm trying maybe to remember the, the lore at a DBZ. Was it, was it maybe yes, 3? It, maybe it, 3 it, it, it was, it, no, no, it was, it was Super Saiyan 2, man. Come on, now go, Gohan definitely hey, was hey. Super Saiyan 2. Look. And then and then his father came from the dead to help. To, come, God bless us. Not the, not the spoon feeds you. Tony, look, <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't confirm it, and then I'll start to, to doubt myself, right? So I thought I was right, but I wasn't sure because you weren't saying anything. And I know you're the DBZ guy. So either way, that's a series. Manny is going to take it. And that, that puts Frosty into the loser's bracket. But you know what? We're not going to a break, apparently. We're jumping into our next series immediately. And Tony, I can't wait to get into this because the, the hype's not stopping. The train continues. Our next matchup 